out a disclaimer that I am not an expert. I don't, I don't always, I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, if you follow my techniques and your hair falls out, that's none of my business because I already told you this is a disclaimer. Look, you can't sue me because I put it in, in a disclaimer. So as far as I'm concerned, do, look, look, try what you want to, but at your own discretion. This is none of my business, okay? I just want to let you know, don't come to me if your hair falls out because it's none of my business, okay? Hey, everyone. So I'm back with another video. Um, this is a hair video. And as I probably said in the intro, I just want to throw out a quick disclaimer that I don't, I'm not a hair expert. I can barely do my own hair. So, um, my advice might not be the best to follow, but again, your girl's lacking ideas and the hair looks decent today. So we just thought we would do a hair video. First product I guess I'm going to be showing you is the basic. So we're going to start off with our shampoo and our conditioner. So um, my shampoo and conditioner are, I don't even know, how, how do beauty gurus do this? Can you, can you see it? Is it focusing? Is it backwards? How does, I don't, look, I don't know. Okay, anyway, I used um, the Shea Moisture, they're open and half empty, as you can tell. I don't, honestly, they should be like gone, gone, but um, I only wash my hair. You know what, I'm not gonna tell you how often I wash my hair because I don't wanna be exposed. So, anyway, um, so I use the Shea Moisture Ra Raw Shea Butter Restorative Conditioner with sea kelp. What's, what's sea kelp, anybody know? Drop it in the comments below. And argan oil, it's meant to moisturize and fortify damaged transitioning hair. Um, I don't know if my hair is damaged. I'm pretty sure I'm done transitioning, but this um, just works best for me. Also, I like the smell more than all the others, so I just continue to use this one. Oh, it's also sulfate-free and color-free, and I heard that's good for your hair, so guess what? Your girl picked it up. Also, I know that a lot of people can't find like, these big sizes. If you have like a BJ's near you, that's where you find them. They were like $10 each. I didn't pay for them, <laughs> so I'm chilling. But um, yeah, these are really big bottles and they last me a long time. Again, the reason they last me a long time might have everything to do with the fact that I just don't wash my hair as often as the next girl, so. <laughs> I don't know if it's backwards or not, so we're just gonna find out. But I use two different um, like leave-in conditioners. So I have a spray one and I have a, um, I have like a butter one, like a balm one. The balm one I use when my hair is wet, like after I just wash my hair. So that one that I use is the Olive Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. Um, it's pretty good. I've always used this. I use this on my transitioning hair. I think I use this on my relaxed hair too. Um, yeah, it's really great. I, um, I only use it, I think it's most moisturizing when I put it in my hair um, after washing, so that's why I use it. It's also a lot thicker, so um, it acts as like a natural like defense against like the weather or like dryness as well. So yeah, I use this one right after I wash my hair. It's also almost done. I have to order a new one. And it smells great. Oh uh, yeah, it smells really good. I like the smell of this one. Also, it's super cheap. Um, let's keep in mind, I'm a college student, so I'm not buying expensive things for myself. I'm asking my mom to buy them. So I do buy this by myself. I think it's like $3 or like Walmart, probably four at Target because I like to play around. But um, yeah, so it's fantastic. I love it a lot. Um, I need to get a new one soon. I'm going to show you the leave-in conditioner that I use when like I'm just doing like a braid out or a twist out in between washes. So I use the cream of nature with argan oil from morocco you're supposed to shake to activate like it's orange juice or something and it's a strength and shine leave-in conditioner and i can vouch for this like when my hair is um you know <laughs> when your girl hasn't been diligent <laughs> with moisturizing can y'all do in my opinion not the best smell but not bad my deep conditioner, which is from the same line, Cream of Nature. This is really good. Um, it um, So it's an intensive conditioning treatment. It strengthens, imparts moisture, and prevents hair breakage, which I would say it definitely does. It also elongates your strands. So like, like you put it in, you leave it in for an hour, and you have less shrinkage, which is kind of good for me because shrinkage is a lot to deal with. I, I don't know what type of hair I have. Look, I don't want to give it to you help me because I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. It's more expensive. Um, per fluid ounce and a lot of the other deep conditioners that are out there. I mean, not more expensive than Shea Moisture, don't get me wrong. 
that's just not, look, I'm, you know, when I, you know, finish up, you know, med school, maybe, maybe I'll be able to afford that. But as of now, mm -mm, sis, I can't do Shea Moisture, which is why I do Cream of Nature. This is the Olive Miracle Silky Smooth Edges. Um, it looks like it's been used. Uh, to be honest, dog, I don't really lay my edges just because, um, just brush them and go. Like, I don't have time to be playing around with a deep brush. Look, I, I don't care that much about my edges. I, look, it's, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, one more leave a comment, I guess. Um, and I guess comment down below what are your favorite hair products or what you use. Do you use cheap products? Do you use expensive products? Do you use products uh, that your mom pays for, that you pay for? Leave it down below. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Uh, we are feel yeah, real good, yeah,